the focus is shifting in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's ability to command attention. I think they are becoming less and less relevant to the news over here, and the royal family will command the attention every time, royal reporter Jenny Bond shared. This insight came as a reply to another question that asked Bond to consider if the ex-working royals coordinate their project announcements with major royal news or events. I can't honestly imagine that they are sitting there scheming to make announcements on the same day as a royal event. Surely they are bigger than that. She added, it's true that there have been some rather strange coincidences in the past about the timing of some of their announcements. When compared to the nightmare of 2023, 2024 has been a busy year for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex so far. The duo attended numerous high-profile events in January and February, which included Harry's taking a trip to London on February 6 to see King Charles after his cancer diagnosis. Mid-March saw the soft launch of Meghan's brand American Riviera Orchard. The move was quickly labeled as pandering for celeb influence and hypocritically exclusive as always. These reports come at a time when the one-time instant clickbait pair are failing to impress a majority of the public with their non-tell-all projects, as the royal family launches several major events. This led royal expert Richard Eden to claim, if Harry wants to come back at any stage, he needs to do it while his father King Charles is still king. In the British monarchy, a change of monarch only occurs when a sovereign dies, and their heir then immediately becomes the new king or queen. Eden's remarks implied that Harry and Meghan would likely stand no chance of reconciling with the royals when Prince William accedes to the throne. I really think that when Prince William is king, I can't see him letting Harry come back and have a role again, Eden continued when assessing the situation in a King William royal court. They are irrelevant now. This follows an insight from royal author Tom Quinn who said, both Meghan and Harry still hope that at some point they might be asked back to become working royals on their own terms. It's a rapidly shrinking possibility, but the couple have talked about this at length and the fact that senior royal numbers are seriously down at the moment has rekindled their hopes. Some observers feel that with his cancer battle still raging, the 75-year-old monarch should break his oath and resign in favor of his heir. William to accelerate the removal of the Sussex titles.